Today I'm looking at a Tivoli Audio model CD external CD player. And in this case I've got it connected to a Tivoli Audio Model 1 radio. Uh, generally the CD players are designed to be used with the Model 2 radio, which is inherently um, you know, a stereo radio. But they can work with the Model 1 or, or any radio for that matter. You could even use them for uh, um, a CD player in your component system or something like that. But at any rate, uh, I'm going to fire this all up and kind of show you what's going on. So I've got the radio on and turned to auxiliary mode. Uh, the CD player is um, plugged in and connected to the radio's auxiliary input. Now when I turn the CD player on, you should see what happens. It powers up and then it starts acting really flaky as it tries to deal with the CD. There is a CD inside the uh, unit and now you can see it's just stuck trying to eject it and that's pretty much all that happens with this thing. It's unresponsive to any button pushes other than the power button. Now when I got these units the previous owner told me that the CD player was having this problem. Um, but the price was right so I bought them anyway and thought that uh, maybe I'd be able to repair the CD player or so when I finally got around to looking at the CD player to see if I could fix it or do something with it, I, uh, I took a look at it and I realized that the uh, power supply that came with it, this 12 volt um, power supply or wall wart or whatever you want to call it, was not the original one. You can see there it says Brookstown on it. And then I got to looking at it a little deeper. And I don't know if the camera is going to focus on that or not, but you should be able to see right there that the output is 12 volts DC at 100 milliamps and 100 milliamps is not very much that's not going to supply enough current to run something like this so I just turned this around on the back and I took a look and it tells me right here that this thing wants 500 milliamps so I then decided to go find a wall wart that had enough current to supply the power needs for this thing just to see if that would straighten it out. Now things are hardly ever that simple in uh, in my world but I found this adapter which actually goes to a set of Cambridge Audio Works um, computer speakers that I have which ironically enough are another Henry Kloss um, design. I've got the CD player connected to that um, new bigger power supply and I've reconnected it to the radio so we'll try this again put this on in auxiliary mode power up the CD player and now you should see it work properly okay and as you can hear the music is playing through the radio as intended and uh, all of the buttons function. I can skip tracks. So there's the second track. I can skip forward. I can skip backward. I can fast forward. I can rewind. Stop. Play. Pause. And eject. So the CD player now appears fully functional and uh, the only problem of course was that um, aftermarket and underpowered uh, power supply. So that'll just about do it for this video. Um, just wanted to show the CD player and that once in a while you do catch a lucky break. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe or leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.